Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bo. Y'all, I'm having me some issues over here. Over here. Now I'm I know I'm already five minutes late, but I'm trying to set this up so we can multitask. Okay. Um I'm just saying it it's hard to be me. Do not try it ever. Okay? Okay. So this will not make it to YouTube. It, it ain't gonna make it. it. I got my laptop here. Hey, Angela, I'm so glad you're here tonight. Angela, I got my hair cut again. I couldn't do anything with it long like it was. Um, so I've got my laptop here. I got my iPad there. I got my phone right here. I'm gonna have to make me a phone call to switch your studio because that's who I'm giving all my money to, all right? Okay, so i tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clear this stuff off my desk. And I hope Ninja Man. Oh my Lord, he's deaf as a doornail. Hey, Joey. <laughs> deaf as a doornail. But it's okay, it's okay. Hey, I'm wearing my um, crafting glasses tonight. You see, less last week or whenever I went live last it was a it's a hot mess okay so um we've been having internet trouble I put another quarter in it it and I have a shirt on I promise I put another quarter in it um it's working a little bit better the little man came today um and they're gonna have to send what they called was a bucket truck so we have a bucket truck situation with our interwebs. Hey, Lisa Oliver. I'm having troubles, all kinds of troubles, um, with internet and um, Switcher Studio and what else? Um, I hadn't had a decent nap. I mean, I, I took a nap, but it wasn't decent. And I, I don't, oh, oh, oh! My car, y'all, my car. $1,200 repair. But wait, 1200 plus 300 $1,500 repair on my car, so I'll have air conditioning, and my car will stop going tap, 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 which it's been doing. Hey, Gloria Wolf, but that's not all. Not only is my internet messed up, not only is are they having to send me a bucket truck. Hey, Brenda, that they're having to send me a bucket truck out for the internet, y'all. My Switcher Studio's messed up. I got a $1,500 car repair but it's still cheaper than a car note i know i know but y'all that car's gonna have to happen next year i think but anyway and then what else was it oh 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 the dog y'all both my dogs we had to take them to the vet that was six hundred dollars okay i mean i should do a gofundme i really should or maybe I should do someone stop me. Maybe that's it. Maybe I need to keep me and the dogs at home. Um, so one of them has to see a specialist because she's she's special. She's so special. Her liver enzymes are off the chart. She's an overachiever with the li liver enzymes. So we're going to take her butt to South Carolina. Now you know that's going to be an adventure, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't know when. It's not an emergency, but they need to see her so they can do some scans and all this other stuff. And um, she's over here on the floor. She's she's my pup. All right, I'm gonna flip you around. Oh, thank you, thank you for the caring um, emojis. Thank you. I'm gonna flip y'all around, and y'all, it is what it is. We just we just gonna do it, okay? All right. So please hold. You know the drill. All right, here we go. Cover you up. Flip you down. Let you see all my mess. Hey, Gloria Wolf. Yes, ma'am. I cut a bunch of them hairs. Zoom in a little bit. Let's get my Bible in there. John 3, 16. Y'all. Okay. This is the new catalog. I know if y'all are loving stamping as much as I do, then you know, you know, you know, the new catalog is out, okay? Now, am I going to sit here and go through the whole new catalog? Well, no, no, I'm not. Um, I am going to get y'all up over here so I can see your comments. Turn you way down, because I, I was going to try and 
um, sched I was going to try and go live here and, um, oh dear, do I look like that to y'all? I'm sideways. Yep. All right. Hold on. Hold on. What in the wild world of sports is going on here? Did that fix it? Oh my goodness gracious. There's, y'all, there's something in the water. I'm telling you, there is something in the water. I have never had to do my phone this way. Oh, you could take Ollie to South Carolina to see a heart doctor. Um, no, yeah, see, that's kind of where I am, Lisa. That's kind of where I am. John P., yeah. please come and get this. Y'all, I I know it's kind of like this, but just just pretend, just pretend like we're on a boat. And we're just kind of going like this, okay? Okay, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. The laptop and this, none of that worked out for me tonight. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so y'all, I'm not trying to cover up anything. We're playing with this set tonight, Fruitful Blessings Bundle, which are the stamps and the dies. Now, y'all saw the dies the day I did the corn, right? I just thought that was fun, so I went ahead and did that. Tonight, we're going to kind of mimic this card here. It's got pears on it and some acorns and some oak leaves. And I don't know what else. But, y'all, I do want to show you something. First and foremost, if I can get all of this together. Okay, so I am, I am already getting ready for the October... Um, Hang on, I added some stuff to my bin over here. I'm getting ready for the October uh, event, event that I'm going to, all right? And that's where I showed y'all last week these cards. Where are they? Here they are. I showed y'all these last week, okay? Oh, hi, Dana. Good evening. Okay, so Lisa, am, I'm not sideways now, am I? But I know I'm in a portrait mode. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Everything's just weird. Okay, so this is from the greetery, and I fell in love with this little this little scenario here. You can see there's acetate on them. It looks like the little window in the ornament box, and. Y'all, I went to Hobby Lobby and I got a poot load of stickers. I, I only had a few left, so I went and bought five more packs, and they look like this. They're um, $1.50 each right now because they're half price. Anyway, here's how I'm prepping for this trip. It's a five-day crafting thing that um, a bunch of us ladies get together and we go up to a lake house and we craft okay or we i mean when i say craft it's whatever you're doing like um we're, we're a group of old friends and we've been together a long time so some of us sew some do hand stitching some knit some crochet and above above and i mean you know some of us do more than one thing some of us are stampers card makers um needlepoint, any kind of, just pretty much anything, pretty much anything. And we just, we kind of just get there, we unload, we eat, and then we look at all our stuff, and then we eat, and then we visit, and then we eat, and then we, it's almost bedtime, so we don't want to go hungry, so we eat again. No. <laughs> all right, so the way I'm preparing for this, y'all, I went ahead because I don't want to carry a bunch of big stuff, all right? I went ahead and this this was just so I could see if I liked it, and I do. So anyway, I went ahead and I stamped all of these. All right, I know, I know. There some of them are, are are weird. You'll see this in the middle only because I have under my blank cardstock, I have a rolled up piece of washi tape. Thank you, Angela, for this washi tape. It's perfect. I roll it and I put it on the back. So when I go to stamp it, the back is lifted up a little bit and it puts that mark. But we're going to cut that out like this, okay? It's going to be cut out, so it doesn't even matter. 
And on the other side of it, it's just white cardstock, and I can use it again and again, okay? Well, my, I mean, not again and again. I can use it again. Okay, so I did all those. I've got these already cut. Those are going to be my base, all right? The back of all of this, okay? And, I mean, I'm just really just showing you how I'm packing for this October thing. Um... So then all of the little the little ornaments that I'm planning to make, I'm just carrying this guy. You know, my little sidekick from Sizzix. Okay? And here's all the pieces I've been cutting out because it's not trash. I can use this for a lot of stuff. It's just blank cardstock. So then I took my um I, I sat here watching some of my shows and I started cutting out all these which, if you look at this card, boom, 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 scary dental tool, you'll see these little colorful backgrounds, not colorful, but there's blue, pink, yellow, you know, that's what these are. They're going to be the backgrounds for the pastel cards, okay? Um, and then I have, I have a bunch, and then I have the brighter color ones in here that look like this. Okay, then I just have a bunch of white ones here, and then the um, these are extra little pieces that came out of other things. I've got my inks that I'm going to be using. I've got see this right here needs the bigger the bigger uh, machine to cut the dies, so those will all be cut out before you know before I go on my thing in October. Um, then I've got a bunch of pieces right here with the names of my colors. Bubble Bath Pink, Lemon Lolly Yellow, Balmy Blue, and Real Red. And, um, you know, the little stickers and stuff that I'm going to be needing. So right now, this is the project I'm working on. So hopefully, I'll be carrying a very small uh, container of supplies to make these Christmas cards, this version and this version, these are the stickers. Um, hopefully, I'll... And, oh, and I bought a bunch of acetate, too, and I'll cut it down to to fit. Um, so, hopefully, I won't have a whole lot of luggage because I'm riding with my friend Heather. And she is... Um, you know, I mean, usually I drive myself, but I'm riding with Heather, and I, I want to be a good steward, you know, and not not Bogart the car. Now, I just moved my dang phone on purpose, but maybe I messed up. I'm waiting to see. Yep, yep, hold on. Let's move this over there. Let's see if that, see if that helps any. All right, hold on. We'll see. I think so. I think we're not quite as slanted. Okay, so tonight, y'all, we are going to kind of copy that card in the catalog that I just showed you, all right? You all know there's a lot. There, It's a hot mess over here, okay? Here's what we're using, Fruitful Blessings, and that is on page 45 of the mini catalog. And, you know, I call it the Christmas catalog. They used to call it that. It's the September to December 2023 mini catalog. So let me just tell you all about this. This little grouping right here, was a hot mess to put together. Um, I had too many green leaves. I didn't have enough yellow. Then these guys looked completely out of place. So y'all, I did have to do some stuff in advance. Um, and I'll show you what all that was. This is the ribbon that I used. This is from the annual catalog. It's real red, oops, and burlap ribbon, page 143 in the annual. It's a set. Okay, we're not using the red. We're using the burlap tonight. Um, we're going to be using our little um, glue dots. Whew. I know y'all were going, glue dots, glue dots. These are extras that I cut out and I'm keeping. Um, I didn't like the dark green, but it'll be great for Christmas, I'm sure. Um, this is the the base for our card. It's just um, heavy, the basic white thick cardstock. And then this, 
paper right here is part of the Inked Botanicals 6x6 paper pack. All right. And I just I just used I love it because it's got these plaid colors. Hang on. Well, anyway, this kind of plaid color and it's got the blue plaid right here. Let go. There we go. The blue plaid. Okay. I really like that. I need this tonight because I was going to show y'all something. I wasn't sure where I'd put it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please hold. I got, I got to have a little swallow. Okay. We're going to use this, I think. And first, the first thing I want to do is show y'all how I did the coloring. Okay. Oh, look at there. My mouse. He's hiding, hiding over here. Okay, because I've already cut everything out, and I do want to show y'all how I did the coloring, because, I mean, you might, you might kind of like it. I don't know. You might. Let's see. These are the pieces I've already colored, cut out, and got ready. All right, but we'll just let those sit there. This is my Gloria Wolf Pokey Tool. We're using Early Espresso, all right? And look, I do write on there sometimes when I remember to that I refilled it. It was August 2022, so it's holding out pretty well. Now, before I stamp that, I want to show you this. This is an old punch. It's a little acorn. And if you, if you punch it in that colorful paper that I showed you the other day, it turns out really cute. I don't know if y'all have this punch or not. But um, I wanted to show y'all if you if you have a punch or if you see a punch that you think you need, you probably do need it. You probably will use it, okay? All right, so we are going to stamp these right here. And that would be this. Y'all, I had a, a real live fight with this, okay? It, it was such a fight that I tossed this part into the trash because I was tired of fighting with it. Um, a long time ago, we as, demonstrator, as demonstrators asked Stampin' Up! for better sticky labels. Boy, did they deliver, okay? But I'm telling you what, when you go to put them back in these little things, which I love to use these little things, y'all, I like to have a little stamp so I'll know if I'm missing one. Well, nowadays, y'all, I'm just going to have to count. I'm just going to have to count up to eight because that's, y'all, I fought and fought with it. And I was like, oh, and I tossed it. Uh, it and I really went, oh, okay. So we're going to take the early espresso. We're inking up our little, our little pears, okay? Now, chances are real good. This is not going to turn out like I want, but it's okay. It's all right. It's going to turn out, first of all, Let's just talk about that artwork and how clear and crisp it is. Look at that. Just look at it. I mean, isn't it pretty? So, you know, because I'm not an artist, and even if I was, I would... Oh, I see I kind of went off, off screen with that one. But y'all saw it. You can see it. Just cleaning this with my um, Simply Chamois. Okay. So, that's done. Now, I'm just going to stick him back in there because I don't want to have to count up to eight any more than I have to, y'all. Any more than I have to. I'm trying to see y'all's. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to look at your comments real quick. Okay, good. Um, hey, Heather, I'm so glad you're there. Shopping and napping. I know it. I know it. Hey, Kathy Vernon. Heather loves plaid. I do too. Oh, my goodness, Gloria. Just made 13 pokey tools today for my friend Pat. Yay! Yay! Lisa, I won a background last night. Yay me! Good for you, a background stamp. Yay! Good for you, Lisa. Isn't that exciting? I love it when there's a little win, a big win, any kind of win. Okay, y'all. Um, I did use a bunch of colors. These Stampin' Blends here, I used all of these, but I'm not going to use all of them tonight. I'm going to use that, and maybe i got to pick out which greens I want, okay? 
This is the colorless blender. I might need that because I did make a boo-boo earlier. We're not going to talk about all that. Uh, let's see what we got. Um, we'll go through this in a little bit. Okay. And my dog is already tuning up for the evening. He's starting to cry already. A little stinker. Okay. Um... All right, so I can put my pokey tool away because I don't think I'm going to need it. Um, let me zoom in. I don't know if I can zoom in or not. We're going to try. We're going to try, see how close up I can zoom. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start with this one. It is Dark Old Olive. Hmm. Do I want to start with this one? I think so. All I'm going to do is accent the the marks that are already here, okay? Um, and I and I know I'm in the way, because but I can't. I got I got to hold it here, right? I got to I got to be able to draw. Now the reason I went ahead and did everything because I didn't want y'all to sit here and watch me color all night long. Although I love to color, but I didn't want to put y'all through that. Um, do you ever wonder at what point did we stop coloring? I mean, for real? For real? Don't be nervous. We're going to fix that. But right now, we're going to go like this. And we're just going to put a few of these little marks in here. In the leaves. Now, Ninja Man is sitting there with his headphones on. Because he's watching his show. And the dog is going to sit there and cry. It's okay. It's all right. I know what he wants. He wants his blanket, and he wants Ninja Man to hold him. Now, chances are good. Ninja Man has already offered to do just that. But Sir Winston poops a lot. That's my dog's name. Sir Winston poops a lot. Needs a whole lot more than that, y'all. He, he, needs, he needs a lot more attention than that. Okay, this is Light Old Olive... Um, I think we're going to do this one. This is light granny apple green. Yeah, this is the one I want to use. Now, I'm just going to come in. I act like I know what I'm doing. Don't be impressed. It may or may not turn out. This is supposed to be a pair, all right? So, I'm just going to make circles around the darker. Hmm, hang on, hang on. I think I want to try this first. Yeah, this one's a little, works out a little bit better, but I do like that lighter green up there. All right, and we're just going to make little circles like this. So, um, if y'all are friends with me on my main page, and I'll check your comments in a minute, they're not as easy to see tonight because, you know, my uh, electronics did not quite work out like I wanted them to. But anyway, Ninja Man and I went down to the beach. Um, we live we live near uh, Savannah, Georgia. We're probably an hour and a half from Tybee Island. And we just took off one morning. We waited till the traffic had had slowed down a bit for school traffic and um, you know uh, business traffic. We we were hoping to miss a lot of that, and we did good. But boy, coming home there was there was uh, one lane only on the expressway on I sixteen, y'all. Rude. So we had to. We had to sit a good 20 minutes in that, but thankfully we had plenty of gas. We were okay. And um, I time travel. I just play on my phone. I call that time traveling. So I just time traveled and Ninja Man grumbled about the traffic. That's what we do. That is what we do. Now, those of you who are really good at alcohol ink, I apologize because I'm not, but y'all, Here's the thing. I keep trying. I'm not giving up. I am not giving up the ship. No way, no how. Now, we're going to come back in with some more dark. But I did want y'all to see how I did these, these little pairs that you're going to see in a minute. We're going to come back in with some of this. Some of this right there. See this right there? 
right here. And then other than that, y'all, we have only been to the car dealership. Am I shopping for a car? Heck no. No, I'm not. But my car is stuck on stupid. Um, the air conditioner is making noises. That's Actually, it's kind of embarrassing because people look over like, oh, that poor lady. She can't get her car fixed. When, in fact, they had to order the part. But, y'all, ten more dollars and no, uh I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay, I changed tips because I didn't want the brush tip on this. And I do want to just circle, make circles like this, just to blend this um, alcohol ink. Alcohol ink. And then I've already, I've already colored all the other parts and I've cut them out. So after this, we just have to assemble the card and we're good to go. But y'all, I'm not done. I'm not done by a long shot on this one right here because I'm gonna bring in a surprise guest and that is this one right here, which is the Light Cajun Craze. And y'all are probably gonna be like, what? I know I was too. I was like, what? But I really liked it. Okay, so the green is down. Now we're coming in with the Cajun, y'all. These lids sometimes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We just, oh, goodness gracious. That's really hard to get on and off. Okay, I am gonna use this brush tip here. We're going like this with the cage. You know how they have little, sometimes pears have a little reddish top to them? Yeah, well, that's what we're shooting for, y'all. That's what we're going for. Now, a lot of my good shows are coming on tonight. We're going back to the light old olive brush tip, and I'm just going to blend, just blend that red in. And you'll see how it just, it just all becomes one part of it. They all come together. Um, welcome to Plathville, which is, it's, it's drama, you know, um, reality kind of show. If you believe that kind of mess, I mean, I don't, I don't know what's true and what isn't. All right, so that's good enough just to give you a good idea about how... Oh, I am so sorry. Ugh, I just now looked up and saw that I was not in the screen the whole time. Darn it. I'm sorry, y'all. This is not my best way. Um, let me see. Brenda, still love to color, usually just color in the winter. Hey, Deborah Gray. Kathy Vernon, still in South Carolina, got to go to Charleston, smelled the ocean air. Yes. Hey, Nyoka, almost forgot. She's been busy with Christmas cards. So, y'all, you, you see where I got a little bit too much right there? Right there. Let me see if I'm showing you correctly before I take it down. Yeah, okay. That's where your colorless blender comes in. I'm using the pen, the... I'll finish it like I started, the pencil tip. It's not the brush tip. And you just, you just uh, blend that out. You just take that color out, y'all. And it, I'm making sure y'all can see. Mm, there we go. In screen, okay, there we go, there we go. How's that, Lisa? Okay. All right, so the idea here is I am definitely still learning how to do alcohol markers, but um, I, I really do, I really do like how these turned out. Oh dear, look at that! Look what I just did. Oh, y'all, the whole thing came apart. I'm stronger than the average bear. Who knew? Hold on. Let me see if I can get this. Oh wow. That is crazy talk, y'all. The whole dang thing. Ha! Huh, look at there. Okay, fine. I'm just going to put a little more color down. I mean, I did not know, you know, that A, I was so strong, or B, stamping up, didn't glue that in very well. 
Lesko would be. All right, so we're just putting a little color on these leaves. I know I keep getting out of screen, but I'm trying to trying to remember where to go because, like I said, I I got an old fashioned setup tonight that um is not it's not what I usually use. Going with the brush tip on the light old olive and just kind of doodling that around, doodling, doodling, and then we get a little bit of red in our leaves. All right. Ninja Man has two pear trees in the backyard. The other day they were they were feeling right poorly, as my mother-in-law might say. Um, right poorly. But they're doing better. I mean, I don't know if they're doing better. Okay, so this right here, you see where that extra was right there. It came out with the colorless blender. And um, y'all keep in mind I am I'm about two seconds. Hang on, I'm coming back in the screen now. There we are. I'm about two two or four seconds, whatever. Y'all y'all see it before me. So anyway, it's hard for me to tell that I'm not in screen, especially when it's port, port, uh, portrait. Okay, so this is our background. As I said earlier, this is the Inked Botanical 6x6. Six six. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to go back out so you can see a little more. Let's see. Nope, I always do that bass backwards, y'all. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we have our parts already colored, already stamped, already um, punched and not punched, but yeah, there was one punch I used in there. Okay, uh, die cut, that's the word I'm looking for. Now, you'll notice the plaid is a background color, all right? And then we have this, which is just one of the opposites in that same pack, and I cut it out with the deckled rectangle dies, and um, I I'm loving these things. I pretty much am using them every time I make a card right now. Okay, and I also, Y'all might wonder where this came from. They are the Chic Dyes, C-H-I-C. Where'd I put them? They're right here, y'all. They are right here. Please hold. Come on now. Um. Okay, I, I'm probably, well, I've got them turned to the right page here. This is Season of Chic. This stamp set here and it coordinates with the chic dies c-h-i-c y'all might want to say chick but i hope it's chic because season of chick just sounds weird um i'll show it to you right here that's this group of dies here and this little guy is that one okay um, darn it. Hold on. I'm really sorry, y'all. I'm struggling with this camera tonight. Um, thank you, Nyoka. I'm really, really happy. Oh, good, good. Um, I was in the screen for Lisa. Uh, saw everything. The lids are easily broken. I did not know that. And hold on. Let me see what Nyoka said. Um, Nyoka had one to do that. Could not get it back together. Yeah, it's it's weird. Um, yes, Brenda, you like the show also. Yeah, it's coming on tonight. Um, and thank you, Lisa, that I was in screen. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and Nyoka, look, the hair. I'm loving, loving, loving my hair. I went back and got it cut the second time, and I just, I'm a lot happier with it. I'm I'm just like yes, please. So anyway, I cut this out, y'all, and in that collection of dyes, this one, I've got a note in there that I have to use an extra shim, um, and that means like a piece of cardstock because it's so detailed, and I know it looks broken, but that's the way the die looks, and um, come on, it's a big square is why it's not sitting right here. Oh, crazy. Gosh, here it is. Needs extra shim. Okay, 
that's this right here. See how it's jagged and kind of broken in places? That's the coolness of it. And it's got seashells and it's got um, uh, snowflakes, leaves. Um, here's a snowflake, seashell, leaves, leaves. Um, more snowflake um, and this background. Now that background can be any color, anything. It doesn't have to be a brown, um, but y'all, the stamp set plus the dies, I'll give y'all an idea. And this is in the annual catalog, as I just showed you a minute ago. It it was sold as a bundle, but, you know, now it's too late to get the bundle because it was here last year in the last catalog. But these are the stamps and dies. Apparently, I love autumn leaves. I mean, I knew I did. I don't even know what this turned out to be, but I don't love it. Um... This is, this is a piece of leaf that would go over another leaf. The snowflake and the seashell and leaf, leaf, little flower, a uh, couple of shells. So that gives you an idea. I was just playing around with all of that. None of it really goes together, but... Um, but I was playing around with when I first got the set. Here's some other, I, I mean, those could play out as snowflakes um, or they could be um, some kind of, I don't know, whatever you want them to be, okay? All right, all right. So we'll put these guys back together. And you see I cut a bunch of these because I really don't want to cut them very often. Okay, so we have this one. Um, I went ahead and I cut that out with the deckled rectangle dies, glued it down. I um, fake <laughs> ran my ribbon, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, what's it called? Robin uh, Carden from Pink Stamper. She named it something. I don't remember right now. But anyway, so that's going to go down. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to use, I'm going to use this right here. Um, I'm trying to remember what term she used. Does anybody remember or did y'all see her during that time? Robin Carden has been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator a couple of times. Um, I don't know how many times over the years. And she's like most of us. She does more than one kind of craft. And right now she's sewing. Um, I think... I think she's left stamping up for now. I could be wrong, could be wrong. Don't hold me to that. Um, but she's, she, when I found her, she was um, doing Cricut die cutting, um, making cards with Cricut. Now th this is gonna be a pain in the butt, but let me just tell y'all, I'm just gonna, you know, there's 57 ways to do it and this is number 58, okay? Um, you really don't wanna get this involved with it. Just go ahead and get you some uh, self, uh, rather some adhesive sheets, cut it out with those. That probably would keep you from having to have uh, an extra shim if you have the self-adhesive sheets under it. Um, but, um, and of course the other way is to put the glue on the, on the photo, not photopolymer, the silicone sheet. We're just going to stick it up under here. But Robin does uh, a lot of different crafts like most of us. And I, I just think now she's just sewing. I'm not sure. I did learn from playing around with this thing that I need to go ahead and put my bow on. I'm probably going to regret that. But you know what? I'm going to hold off on it. This, okay, this was a pain. I had to put it. it. It's only a pain because I wanted it to look right. Okay, so if you look at this one in the book right here, it's a clump, okay? And I and I tried to do the clump like they did the clump, okay? And then I'm trying to do this over here like they did. So we'll we'll see how this one turns out. But for the moment, we're going we're going to try the clump. So I went ahead and glued all of that together. And that's pretty close. Um I did not use the dark colors that they used. I did stamp, hang on, I gotta put that back on there. I did stamp an extra acorn to put on here because they've got three. 
And I don't know why they stopped at two on this because it it leaves a space for the third one and they give you a stamp and die for the third one. You see, there's the third one right there. Okay, I think I'm doing okay staying in the screen, at least trying. Okay, so we're going to put this whole collection Um, you know what? I, I think we're going to put that there. Okay. And then this, and y'all see, you see how I'm struggling. See the different colors in this pair? The yellow is coming. I'm, it, I kind of, I'm not saying mine's better. Believe me, I'm not. But I like, I like the, I like doing it this way rather than just that way. Because the sun would have to be hitting directly on top of them for it to look like that, right? That's that's all I know. Don't be impressed. That is all I know about that. Then I'm going to put these like that, I think. And then these I have uh, put together with a glue dot. And I think they're going to go right about here. Yep, that's what we're doing. Then we have a little hello friend. I'm going to put it right Hmm. You're not even able to see my, my dang ribbon. Hold on. My dang ribbon. We might put the hello friend. Yep, that's what we're doing. That's it right there. That's it, I think. <laughs> okay, so let's glue all of this mess down. Just going to put glue everywhere. There's so many pieces here. And it's just because I was trying to do the card very similar to the one in the catalog. Because I do, I do think they have. All right, now I'm messing. I'm messing with it. I'm messing with it, y'all. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna quit messing with it. I'm just gonna do this. Um, they do have artists that they, you know, actually have on payroll that know what they're doing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Here's my little glue dots. And um. We'll stick this on with a couple of glue dots, I think. I do like my little bow. It did turn out it did turn out good tonight. Um, I feel so bad for my YouTube friends because there's some of my friends are not on Facebook and they're not able to see this tonight because I could not connect both accounts. For some reason, I gotta call those silly switcher people in the morning and say what is going on around here yes that's what I want to do okay y'all come over here and y'all and see this right here is just a little background it's it's not the focal point okay so besides the internet messing up switcher studio messing up my um my dogs costing us what did I say? $600 at the vet. Um, and, oh, let me tell you, Winston screamed like a girl. They took his temperature, and he wants it back. He is not playing. He is not playing with those, those games. He says, y'all have violated me in every way possible, in more ways than I even thought was possible, and now I'm mad. And he was, he, y'all, he didn't speak to us. For several hours because we also had to leave them there okay they had to do blood work because the dogs have had uh maladies they both had some maladies um you know you get maladies back in the old days um i think we're gonna put that right there mm, hold on i don't want to lose this leaf hello friend y'all maybe i'll do that maybe i will just put my hello friend down here and it still looks like two separate things to me. Um, maybe I'll put it, I think I will. I'm going to put it right there. So, yeah, they were, um, they, they, they both, they both got little issues. So they did blood work and they said, leave them here and, you know, we'll, we'll call you when we're done with the blood work and blah, blah, blah. So I get a text from the doctor First of all, I got a call, I guess, and it was a restricted number. 
I'm not talking to anybody with a restricted number, y'all. I'm not. Um, but apparently it was a doctor because then he said, he texted me and he said, this is Dr. Um, Wolf. No, uh, no pun intended. He's a veterinarian. And he's kind, he's kind of nice looking, y'all. I think if he were to put on some clean clothes and shave, he would be hot as a hot potato. But anyway, I, it, I'm just saying. Um, but <laughs> I know, and if I were to lose, you know, 80 pounds and back up about 40 years, you know, maybe I would be too. I don't know. But um, anyway, so he sends me this text and says, this is Dr. Wolf. Um, he said, uh, please call our office. Everything's okay or not emergency, or something like that. And I'm like, well, I really appreciate that. Um, let me look at your... Hang on. I'm looking at your uh, message. I mean, your comments here. We finished the card, y'all. Um, let's look. Nyoka came in late. What dye is that? Um, Nyoka. Uh... Cheater method. Yes, Lisa, that's it. She has left Stampin' Up! again. Okay, yes. Um, uh, Robin Carden, my pink stamper, is who she goes by. She called this the cheater method. Yes. Clump is an embellishment, aka embellishment, right? Um, Brenda thought the ones in the book were avocados, not pears. Very pretty card. Thank you. Um, <laughs> very pretty card retake. Okay, thank you so much. Um, y'all, I do like it. I do. It, it's a heavy card. There's a lot going on. And, you know, like I said, I was, I was casing this one out of the catalog. They do look like avocados now, Gloria. Um, no, Brenda. Brenda said that. Brenda, they do look like avocados. Um, I think it's because of the way they're colored, and they're also, you can't see the fullness of them because those acorns, the acorns, <laughs> the acorns is in the way. But y'all, I think my favorite stamp in this whole thing is this one here. There's a whole lot of coloring, and I, I just didn't do all the coloring tonight. And I've already done this one, but I hadn't done this one. And I do love this one too, and that little guy. So y'all, um, that's all I got tonight, y'all. I thank you all so much for um, for coming by. And, oh, Angela, thank you. She said her favorite thing was my coloring of the pears. That is so sweet. And, y'all, I'm going to call um, call my Switcher Studio people and say, what is going on? And then they're sending the bucket truck for the Internet. And, I mean, we're we're bucket truck people, y'all. We are bucket truck people. If y'all invite us somewhere, we might show up in a bucket truck. I'm just saying, I might be wearing flannel. So, think twice, okay? All right, so, <laughs> I got to go make some money so I can pay for all these repairs of dogs and internet. Well, we don't have to pay for the internet repair, but you know what I mean. Cars, dogs, I don't even know what tomorrow will bring. But, y'all, I'm going to Bible study in the morning. We're studying Genesis, which I won't even tell you the question that shocked my whole Bible study group. Yeah, I will, too. And I'll leave you with this, okay? Good night, Dana. Thank you. God bless. Um, I'm, I'm just going to throw out this question. I don't need an answer. Y'all ponder it. Pray about it. So when it says, in the beginning, God created... Does that mean he never created before or after the earth? I know he put all the stars in the sky and the planets in the universe. But did he create anything else? Life forms. Okay. All right. Pray about that. Get back to me. All right. Love you guys. Thanks so much for coming by and God bless. Toodles!